cares. It's, it's better than coming up with a name. Yeah, yeah exactly. for us anyways. <laughs> Gives a damn. I can't really know what it's going to be named until, like, things happen anyways. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh... <laughs> Okay, Unless so I think Brentley might actually laugh at this meme. Oh, I laugh at every meme. Yeah, Brentley's. Yeah, the. <laughs> what do you need to name this meme. session, my meme? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get canceled, though. Um, Where's it at? Where's it at? Memes? Yeah, yeah it's in the memes. memes. We're doing. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. So, <laughs> with the first... Um... Bravo. Bravo. We're already derailed. Oh, that's the oh, third time I've gonna... sent that meme in regards to Will. It's, it's the best meme. meme. He just attracts it. I don't know what it is. I, I, yeah. I don't know either. Um, Okay. So, with the first, I don't know, five minutes or so already extremely derailed, uh, oh, wow. let's... That's five minutes is crazy. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll give a little bit of a um, refresher on what, um, on what happened last time, uh, just for, for anybody that might have been falling asleep during the time or whatever else. Uh, okay. Yeah, so last session, if I remember correctly, uh, you guys had kind of went through the chemistry uh, lab a little bit more, uh, just double checking to see if there's anything else uh, in there that you felt was um, of importance. You were able to heal up a little bit, and upon exiting the chemistry lab, you had heard distant gunshots from a uh, tomb that seems to have some living residents inside of it. As you opened it up, uh, outside came a new face uh, being played by our lovely Brantley here, Xavier King, uh, also what seems to have some sort of relationship with uh, Katie's father, um, like yeah. a, a sort of fr friendship um, that has been a bit long lasting. And besides that, we also were introduced to another character named Barry that you guys were able to save, a local baker um, from the town of uh, West Pacific in, uh, City, um, or East, sorry, East Pacific in, um, City. So, uh, or East Pacific, my bad. My, I'm just like all over the place. Um, so yeah, you guys went through there. Uh, discussed with them a little bit in the chemistry lab, made sure everything was okay, and you guys had continued to explore some of the uh, last little sections of the south uh, dungeon where uh, you just went through and dealed with, or specifically, Jacob went through and dealed with a couple monkeys that were left in there and uh, mm -hmm. grabbed, yeah, easily, easily dealed with them and was able to hand a duffel bag over to uh, Katie and or, or sorry, in this case, Moxie and Xavier, who Xavier finding out a way to disarm the trap was able to get a little short pocket shotgun uh, with, if I'm correct, five rounds with it. Um, and a single grenade. It seems to be some sort of like almost like tin grenade, uh, tin can grenade. <clears throat> that is where we are leaving off. So... Ending off from there, where Xavier had just just was able to disarm the trap, get the shotgun and the grenade. You guys are welcome to role play or do whatever you want. So, are we going forward? I don't see why not. If we feel that it will get us out of here quicker, then perhaps. But we do need to move swiftly. Gallon. <laughs> Gallon friends <laughs> off. Gallon, please. What I meant. <laughs> Gallon. Everybody chase after Gallon. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody moving their characters. Yep. All uh, controlling Barry. 
<laughs> and Sebastian currently. Hopefully Bryce will, will get here soon. As <coughs> you all will see Gallen get run into what seems to be a broken wall for familiar for Katie and Gallen, but um, the rest of you are now seeing this broken wall. Um, you can see that all of the... Um, I can actually delete this. All of the lockers are seem to have been opened up and scavenged out, except this locker towards the end, where a uh, extra, where a master lock seems to be broken off. Yet the actual locker itself seems to be have an extra deadbolt there that makes it just a little bit tougher. Um, in addition to that, you also have a safe down here that hasn't been opened at all. There's again the rest of the stuff seems to have been looked through or at least ramshackled for the most part. Um, is there anything anybody would like to do? I want to try that locker again. All right. Um, yeah, you're more than welcome to, to give it the old one, two shot. Uh, you, I think you have to roll me a D20 for a prying check. First roll of the night, 16 plus 3, so 19. 19. Let me double check nope. to make sure that is enough. And I believe that's an XP because I rolled a 60. Yes, it is an yep. XP. Pretty nice. Uh, 19? I'm, yeah, looks like that is... I. Yeah, it looks like that is actually barely, barely good enough. Um, you're struggling there for a second. Um, oh wait, well, well, well right here. <laughs> what, how are you? How are you? Sorry, I forgot about this. How are you trying to pry it open this time? I guess that's one of my questions. With my foot on this locker and using both my arms to try and pry it open. All right. So rather than trying to like catch leverage or something like that, you're instead just going to try to grip your Roll fingers through. as hard as you can and try to pull it through. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that is. I will say that it was impressive enough and showing a since since you were able to have broken the other lock previously, the second shot was enough to um, kind of break it open <clears throat> the rest of the way. Though you did not roll a stealth check before doing no. something like that. Um, no, I didn't. Though, what is your passive stealth? 14. Is it 14? I thought it was 12. Oh, it is 14 now. Remember, right. we had a yeah. couple, couple buffs being done. I will say, roll me a d20. Penelope's cheering you on. Thanks. Woo. Thank, you. Thank you, Penelope, for the backflip. Uh, I love, I love the dance. Uh, D twenty, you said? Yes. That is a raw nineteen. Mm, raw. <laughs> raw nineteen. You are able to break it open, and everybody stands still for a second. Even you guys out here that seem to be closer to the jail door, you hear the noise. But <laughs> the zombies that seem to be at the end of the hall, none of them seem to be coming towards your way. Or at the very least, that's not what you hear. Johan so. having your shovel at the ready, gripping it tightly. All right. Gallon, inside of the mm -hmm. locker, you find a blueprint. Oh, my first one. For the blueprint, what you see is um, it's labeled at the top as the right blade. Um, <clears throat> upon just further looking at it, if you don't mind giving me a um, give me a crafting roll. Oh, that's gonna be shitty. <coughs> yeah, that's negative two. Uh, <laughs> What'd you roll? Uh, Gallon ain't smart, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? That's a five minus two. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the best she can tell is that it's seems like it's in a very complicated design. 
and that this is just a right but it's labeled right blade and that's pretty much all you can get from it well this is just garbage Dan. <laughs> um, you... but i'll be i walk it over there to take a look see okay it's just a piece of paper <laughs> Um, okay, here, let me, let me see it. Uh, sure, and I'll hand it to her while I investigate the rest of the locker. <laughs> yeah, um, as you investigate the rest of the locker, you find a very, very small bottle. Oh, by the way, Shrimp, roll me a d20, um, okay. for your, for your crafting check. You find a very, very small bottle of, uh, Brian Grenold's Aviator Gin. <laughs> Stop it, that in my fucking pants. <laughs> <laughs> it is gin, not your favorite, which is whiskey if I'm correct. But yes. you do have some gin. Wait, 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 wait. Can can I hold on to that? It was in the locker with this note. So can we keep the things that came out of this locker together? Just... I will slowly pull the bottle back out of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Don't worry. If anyone gets to drink it, it'll be you. Yes. <laughs> I'll just hold on to it for you. I don't have a way to clean it. It um. Anyways, is that paper any useful? Useful? <laughs> um, I rolled a. I rolled a sixteen. A sixteen. Ooh, sixteen mm -hmm. plus six. That is going to be a twenty-two. You also get an exp Ooh. point for uh, your crafting skill. And looking at it, you're able to tell that it is the bright blade of a larger device called a the large scissor blade. Um, from what you can tell, this blade is extremely good at removing limbs. And while it seems to be experimental to uh, some extent. From what you can tell, it does seem quite complicated to make, as you're going to need to find mechanical parts like pneumatics to even be able to make it. But uh, without taking further time than just your quick gloss over, you're not going to be able to discover much else of what you um, of what else you're going to actually fully need for this. Um, Gallen, Gallen would just basically see Penelope get excited. She's just like, oh, okay. I done good then? Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> Yo, it will give himself a pat on the back. <laughs> well, the only thing left in here was that safe I couldn't get open. Uh, if I remember correctly, last time you didn't even try to open it. No, also, I, I just... Believe you said it needed a code. Um... Uh... It, it, if if you if you want to, you can definitely try to look over it, but um, the safe definitely looks difficult to try to pry it open, um, or to even lockpick it, um, or you don't really have to lockpick it, but it's one of those uh, like the dial safes, so you would have to like kind of be able to figure that out. Um, Brantley, since you were in here as well, was there anything that you were particularly doing uh, while they were looking well at the locker? Um, no, can I just roll an investigation check to see if I see anything? Yeah, roll me an investigation check. Are you looking at anything in particular? No, just, just any, just around the room. I rolled a 16. Um, can you pull my character sheet? I don't have it up right now. Yeah, I can, I can give it, give it a shot. Um, let me look. Your, um, investigation, oh wait, you rolled a 16? Yeah. Okay, I'll add an EXP point for you real quick. Um, 16 plus 13, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> so, what is that? 29, right? Yeah. Uh, Any, just anything that we should be notified in, that's in this room that we don't already know. I'm going to, because you rolled a 29 in this case, I'm going to actually give you two pieces of information that you were able to find, okay? Um one of them is you very and i mean extremely faintly do hear similar scratching as what you were hearing before 
Um, it wasn't. It's not as noticeable as you guys normally do. Where when you normally had like when you were hearing that really loud scratching before all the zombies started pouring out um, from the floors, you maybe had like a couple minutes to maybe react, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, um, this one is. You're catching it faint enough to where, you know, you you don't think that you have to worry about it right away, but that could become a concern in the future. Okay. In addition uh, to that, oh, yes. No, keep saying. In addition to that, um, <clears throat> roll me a d4. I need you to roll me a d4. Yeah. I got a natty four. A natty four. All right. While looking uh, through all the papers, not quite fully understanding everything, you, you are very good at skimming through things and picking up information that might be key. And among one of the papers um, that seems to just be like a general like correspondence notes, uh, you do notice that halfway through the paper, there is a, um, what seems to be four sets of digits of 86, 23, 44. Here, I'll write this out for you so that you can... Thank you. <laughs> so, so that I'll 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 uh write it in zombies and Lydia for you. Uh, sorry, uh, that's technically not correct, but whatever, it's good enough. Um, <laughs> that is correct now. I'll change my notes. Um. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yes, so, um, you do see those four digits, um, on the piece of paper, and you have clocked that, and you're, you, you do have those as notes, um, so you were able to find some, uh, some information that might be useful for your group, um, Okay, so could I mean, you, are you gonna tell me if that's gonna be used to open up the safe, or do we just have to try? You would just have to try. <laughs> uh, as you're looking through the notes, I guess uh, I'll give I'll give Gallon and, and Penelope a chance to look at the safe before possibly Brantley showing up. Um, if you guys wanted to try anything, yeah, Gallon's just like looking over her shoulder, like, wait, can you do anything? I couldn't figure this one out. <laughs> Um, is there anything Penelope can do about this? Um, if you, I would say this wouldn't be easy, but if you wanted to, I could let you do a sleight of hand check at disadvantage. You get a plus six to your sleight of hand. Um, <laughs> that you could, you could like, you're trying to like lock, pick it open. Um, basically, <laughs> like, uh, you're not lock picking, but you know what I mean, like safe cracking it open. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Why not? What have I got to do? Sure. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Um. That is an eight. An eight plus six. Yeah, that's not enough to do it. Uh, you're you're doing it, and maybe you, you feel like you maybe heard a click, but then you, you lost it, and you're you're just not sure where where it is. You tried your best, but this just is. It's a bit more of a sophisticated lock than what you're really. You don't really have knowledge in it. You have quite good. Um, you're quite good at using your hands and being extremely precise and being perceptive, but this is just not something you're very experienced with. And so, um, you know, okay. you gave it your best shot. Xavier's going to come in and say, Hey, I found a, I found a, I found an eight digit code. Uh, do you want me to try? Oh, oh well, that's wow. probably it then. All right. Um, yeah. Xavier's going to input the eight digit code. Right, we'll step out of the way. Oh wait! Yeah. Um, before Xavier does it, he tells um, 
he's gonna tell uh, Galen, hey, I hear this scratching noise that I heard earlier back in my tomb that uh, me, you know, when all the zombies came up from under our, under, under the floor, um, me and Barry heard the scratching noise. We had a little bit of time to react, but I hear it very faintly. So we might have a few, a few, a few moments longer than a few minutes. Probably I'd say about an hour or so until these zombies start coming up. Do you mind telling Johan? Yeah. I'll go let him know, then. Uh, Penelope, you stay with him. Buddy system and all that. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Buddy Xavier's going to open up the safe. Yeah, so... Or at least uh, to. I'll just relay that to we, uh, Johan. Johan will nod and uh, look to Moxie. We will soon be moving. Are you ready? I'm ready. I wanted to investigate this room, but if we don't have time, let's go. We got. You might have a little bit of time. He's cracking the safe in there, so. Mm. Um, I wanted to know what was in here. Brantley, just roll me a general d20. Don't add anything. Okay. Oh God. I got. I got a natural one. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had you roll the net, the twenty, assuming that as long as you got anything but a natural one, oh, it was just gonna be fine. I just wanted to see, like you know, like I was just like you know, it'd be really funny if he just like doesn't know how to use it or something. Um, but Brantley, he know how to use it. <laughs> you with your confidence and your bravado. You're going through and you're, you're inputting the code in for all intents and purposes. You think that you're doing it exactly correctly and you're just not getting it to work. Um, so you're, from what you know for your character, your character genuinely just thinks that uh, this isn't the right code. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go go to Penelope. I can't figure out how to work this damn thing. Do you want us to figure it out? And oh, she's going to um, hand her the code. Well, okay. <laughs> Penelope will do it then. Sure. <laughs> Penelope, roll me a d20. <laughs> Get a natural one, please. It'd be so funny. <laughs> Two of them. Get him out of the way now. Get him out of the way. No, now. actually, a natural 20. Okay. Nice. So, Penelope, what's going to end up happening is you're going to uh, <laughs> you're going to go up to touch the door or, or to like go do the lock, and then you realize... The door is actually leaning open a little bit since Brantley <laughs> unlocked the door last time, but he didn't realize he had to, you know, open the fucking door. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, so just like make Xavier sound like a fucking <laughs> retard. <laughs> <I don't laughs> <know. laughs> I'm just funny fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm just teasing you, character. But uh, yeah, you're, you're just gonna see Penelope like kind of have her arm kind of go towards. The, the dial, but then she realizes and her arm instead goes towards the handle and turns it and opens up the safe. <laughs> so... oh, and then Xavier's gonna go, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Penelope, <laughs> inside, um, inside, you are able to find 50 rounds. You're able to find a uh, two boxes of .22 LR ammo. So 50 rounds of it. And 50 rounds of 9mm Parabellum ammo. In addition to that, you find something uh, that is, you find some leather wraps and a bag of cocania. Um, these leather wraps, uh, for all intents and purposes, are basically... Uh, Jacob, they're they're a little bit better than the stats that you currently have for your um, cloth wraps. Um, instead of a plus two, it's just a plus three to damage and a two d four plus five. Um, but they're a little bit better, and they are made out of leather. And more importantly, they're comfortable for you. Uh, whereas the stuff that you've been kind of using more recently hasn't been feeling the most comfortable. Uh, the Kakanya uh, shrooms. If you don't mind rolling me a um, chemistry check. Or medicine check. Actually, I'll let you do medicine check. In this case. Okay. Um. That is. 
an 11. An 11 plus 8. That is good enough. A 19 is good. Um, Cocagna is, for all intents and purposes, a type of cocaine. Basically what it does is it gives, whenever a person uh, were to snort the Cocagna, would give the user double the movement speed and plus three to hit with melee weapons while increasing that person's AC by one. But it does deal one damage to the person, and after the Cocagna wears off, um, they must make a constitution save to see if they have become addicted to it or not. If you become addicted to it, you know that there is going to be a large amount of uh, debuffs temporarily while you're getting weeding yourself off of that addiction. The moment you said the name, I kind of figured what it already was. Yeah. But hearing that, yeah. that confirms what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Shrooms, I'll, I'll help add this, to your, this stuff to your inventory. Um... But yes. Um, uh, sorry, I am just trying to. Uh, get this stuff correct. Here you go. Um, but yeah, you were able to find that. So if you guys want to role play anything or head back to the rest of the group, you guys are welcome to. Um, um I apparently stepped away from my computer because I have to take care of something, so I can't see the screen. But for now, I'm just gonna say. Johan is, last I remember, still keeping an eye on the hallway, just making sure no zombies catch up to them, or creep up behind them. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Xavier and Penelope, are you guys heading back with the rest of the group, or is there anything else yes, that you are. guys wish to do? Yeah. Come on, let's go back. Right. You guys walk your way back <laughs> to the rest of the group. Well, did you uh, find anything inside of there? Barry is going to ask. Uh, you guys actually get it open? Uh, yeah, let's not talk about how long it took us. <laughs> what did we get uh, inside again? I'm sorry, I have a really bad headache. Yeah, you're good. Um, you found 50 rounds of .22 LR ammo. You found 50 rounds of 9mm Parabellum ammo. You found some leather wraps. And you found a bag of cacanya. Huh. Yeah. Okay. We got we got some cacanya if you guys want to try. The the uh, um, leather wraps are available. Uh, yeah, she's gonna hand the leather wraps over to the only person who uses the leather wraps. Who? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, slams into you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> and he will pet her head <laughs> and put them on. Cool. Um, if you'd like and, to, sorry, go. Um, nobody's doing the cocaine though. I'll just hold on to that. Fair enough. Yeah. Um. What do these wraps do? So the uh, leather, the leather knuckle wraps are um, basically the exact same as your weighted cloth knuckle wraps, but instead it, of a D4 plus two, it's a D4 plus three, and instead of two D4 plus four, it's a two D4 plus five. Though the durability is currently three out of five. I can. I'll just keep them on my inventory right now. <laughs> yep, that is fine if you want to do that. How much do they weigh? Uh, the leather wraps, uh, they're pretty light. We'll just say like a pound. They're, 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 not, they're not very heavy. All right. <clears throat> he just softly pets Penelope. Thank you. You're welcome. 
<laughs> well, uh, looks like we uh, finished out that room. Uh, oh, Mox, uh, were you trying to get in there? Yeah, I heard noises last time I was here. I wanted to see if there's anything valuable in here or, or what the danger was, you know, anything I could tell the rest of the group. All right. Uh, why don't you uh, let Mr. Well, Jake, or uh, what's it called? Uh, Lane, are you back? Not yet, but I'm finishing up my task. Just I could've... taking care of the issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, well, all right, uh, I guess we can, we can try and explore inside of there. Oh, if anyone's going into that room with Moxie, Johan will send one of his specters to assist. Okay. All right, yeah, uh, who would like to go inside of the room with Moxie? I'll go. Mm -hmm. yeah, send him in there. Is that Bryce? You. Bryce? Bryce, have you jumped? Bryce is muted. He's risen. Oh. He oh. has risen, baby girl. And the risen with the tism. Holy Hell shit. Oh, yeah. It's Both a bastard. party. All right. So, uh, just to catch you up, uh, all that basically happened uh, last time was they met the new character, Xavier. They found out that some zombies are coming through the floor below you guys, coming up. Um and tearing through the floor. You guys have healed up, so Sebastian, you're back up to full HP, and you guys have just been kind of finishing up looting some of these areas around here, and as Katie is about to enter in to this new room, if you'd like to join her, you can. Currently her, Xavier, and one of um, Lane's clones, or not clones, uh, ghost friends are coming through. Um, I'm going to be sneaky. You're going to be snipey. Welcome back. Yes. A sneaky boy. Yeah, as sneaky as I can be. All right. Um, so who's who's going in with, with Katie exactly? Me, uh, Xavier is. So Xavier. And my specter. Your specter. Uh, Bryce, since you weren't here, would you like to join uh, Katie as well? Good thing. All right. Also, what the fuck is this? That's yeah, a dead yeah, monkey. Gonna, dead monkey. Yeah, I'm gonna sit this one out. Actually. He's just Why? gonna stay out here with. I killed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first time I was coming through here, I, I encountered it and I killed it. I see. It, you yeah. can tell that Barry still isn't like a hundred percent. Even though most of his wounds are healed, he's still a little bit shaken by everything that has happened. Um, I mean, he barely survived. Yeah, I imagine he's, he's like, so he's he's not exactly gung ho about going into the most dangerous locations. Um, so, Katie, leading our charge, I assume uh, you said you were trying to be sneaky. Would you roll me a stealth check? That is a fifteen plus six, twenty-one. All right. Yeah. Cool. Added the XP point. Uh, oh, yeah. So cool, 21 for it. Everybody else that I guess is following Katie, if everybody else could roll me a stealth check as well. Lane, you can roll a stealth to. check for your character. Um, yep. No, you don't need to if you don't want to. But if you if you want to, here's the thing, here's the thing. You might as well roll to see if you get the XP. You know what I mean, Brant? Fair, fair, fair. But like, what if I roll a 1? Uh, it doesn't matter. You, we still take your. Well, as long as you don't roll a one, basically, as he long as you a don't. Two, so. Well, no, it's Sebastian. Not... Oh. Sebastian. Oh, well, eight, so. Actually, it's 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 actually a zero. Because <laughs> he has a minus two. <laughs> okay, so Sebastian. Uh -oh. Sebastian has well, an eight <laughs> or a two or zero. Sorry. Um, I rolled an eight. Yeah, Brantley, you rolled an 8, but it's plus 13, so it's less than your passive stealth, so we're going to just take your passive stealth. Katie has a 21, so Jacob with 23, Katie with 21, Bryce with 0. Jacob, or, uh, Lane, what about you? The spirit got a 19 minus 2, so 17. 17's um, good. Add 1 EXP, Lane, by the way, to your character. Done. I, I didn't roll because I'm not going with them. Yeah, I, I accidentally said your name. Sorry, Jacob. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm saying out here with Barry and Penelope. <laughs> so, Katie. Sebastian's um, just, just, just standing up, right? He's not even trying to sneak. 
Yeah, he's not even trying to sneak. So, Katie, if you'd like to open up the door a little bit. Yeah. Uh, or at least it. as much as you want to. I'm going to open it this much. Being very slowly and very careful not to make any noise. Yeah. Being super cautious. Right. So, Katie. Uh... Sorry. Oh, wait. Give me a second. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> okay, so okay. there's... As you open up the door, uh, you do see a dog there as Bryce. Good. Huh? Huh? As <laughs> a very loud uh, sneeze happens. And Way to go, Professor. The dog that was originally not aware of your uh, position, now looking towards where the sneeze has come from, does seem to know that you are there. Um, Can I duck behind the wall? Or no? Do I not have enough time? You can't. You can't stealth in this case. Um, and what? No bless you. <laughs> bless you. Fucking no. Idiot. Luckily, these zombies don't seem to be attracted. Uh, they're listening to kids Bob still. Yeah, they're still listening. Yeah. Yeah, they're current. They're currently on. Uh, I don't know, like a Miley Cyrus song. <laughs> oh my god! They're listening to Party in the USA. Yes, Party in the USA, a hundred percent. But somehow the kids' version, the kids' bop version of Party in the USA. So you know. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, just, so just Party in the USA it, it's going. Party in the School Today. Uh, oh my god no party in the tomb today yeah oh. party in the tomb <laughs> yeah exactly doing the monster mash over there actually um, oh god no <laughs> this dog um if you don't mind KT and yep. everybody just kind of roll a d20 right now gives me a rough idea of initiative I got a nat 20 Oh, nice. Holy shit. Um, I got a 17 that time. Okay, so uh, give me a second while I see what everybody rolled. So uh, you rolled a natural 20, correct, Brantley? Uh, what is it adding? I don't know. What is it for? Your initiative. Uh, oh um, uh, I can't find it. It's at the top. It's like one of the ones near your health. And oh, plus three. Plus, plus three. three. Okay, so yours is 23. Nat 20. Okay. Bryce, you said 17 plus anything? Do I get to do anything for rolling a nat 20 or no? Um, uh, you'll see. Minus two, so, minus two, so 15. Okay. Uh, Katie, what'd you roll? Uh, 12 plus three, so 15. 15. Shrooms, what did you roll? 10. All right. Uh, plus any? Oh, I can do it for you. Uh, ten plus two, so twelve. It's not bad. Nobody, nobody, nobody's doing terrible. Uh, Jacob, would you roll? Uh, for initiative. Yeah, I want everybody to roll initiative. Uh, Lane, what did you roll? What am I rolling? Initiative. Eighteen. Eighteen. Initiative. Yep. Yep. I just. They didn't sneak very good. Oh, yep. in here. Mm -hmm. And just kind of generally speaking. Ghost. Uh, just kind of your ghost and yourself, since you guys both go at the same time. Just in case everybody decides to act, it depends on who's actually going to act. I, I just want everybody okay. to roll initiative. Uh, 17 plus 0, so 17. Okay, right, cool. Yours didn't change from the last one I had written down. Nice. Um, second. And, uh, sorry. Okay. So. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at sneaking, guys. <laughs> it's okay. How dare you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Fine, I'll just go kill myself. No! <laughs> no, don't do that. 
How That's dare you roll a three that you had no control over? Yeah, how dare you randomly fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, you are a bad sneak boy. How dare you fail off of RNG, bro? I can't have that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Could you? So, uh, oh, starting it off. Except I'll just lie about my roll and say I got a, I got a natural 100. <laughs> yeah, yeah, natural 100 on a D20. Um, <laughs> Brantley, yep. with your natural 20, you get to go at the beginning of the leader board uh, of, of everything, and you also get to go at the very end of everybody's turn um, as well. So, um, Xavier's going to move. Well, oh, sorry. Yes, Maybe, you can go. You can no, go. Well, were you going to say anything? No, nah, nothing important. Okay. Uh, Xavier's going to turn into his morning star. Okay, cool. And go into... Um, Go into Johan's buddy's hand. Well, who has okay. who has better melee damage, Johan or Moxie? Probably, Probably Johan. Probably Johan. Oh yeah. Buddy or, wait, Johan's buddy. Yeah, Johan's buddy basically uses Johan's stats. Uh, yeah. Yo, this also is useful because Johan's buddy doesn't currently have a weapon. Um, yeah. So it's just so me and my ghost actually get to whoop ass together. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Uh, so yes, I'm going to turn into a Morning Star, and go into oh, Johan's buddy's hand. All right. Yeah. I don't know so. how to vision that, but <laughs> yeah, 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 you're you're fine. We'll just kind of set you over to the side here. Um, yeah. but we know that you're currently as a morning star in uh Johan's hand. Um, yep. do you do you have the stats written down for the uh, where do you where do you have your list of weapons that you can transform into? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think you had me write them down. I don't remember. Where they oh. are. I don't remember it. I don't remember. I don't think you gave them to me. Okay. Even uh, dinner, I just forgot. I don't remember. I just didn't think you have. I no, yeah, you're good. I, I, I think I, I, maybe, maybe I didn't do it. Yeah, I'll just. You want to put it under my backstory or like. You know, you I, I'm putting it on the white page. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm putting it on the white page right now. Um, so uh, for the morning star, it's actually going to be. Um, as because he transforms into a morning star, the lucky thing is when you get to roll to actually hit with the weapon, uh, Johan, you get to add three to your total um, after everything. So if you you know roll a seventeen plus one, that's an eighteen. You then get to add an additional plus three on top of that to try to hit. Um, so it gives you a little boost to hit, and then also in addition to that, the damage that you roll, you also get to add an additional plus two damage. Than you would normally for a morning star, um, so which is which is pretty cool. Oh, it's literally here. I think it's turned into. Oh, it's any. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't have the actual melee weapon written down. I'm I'm writing it down for you currently. Um, uh, uh, sorry, let me. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Yeah, you're good. Um, and we don't need to do durability. Luckily, that doesn't really matter anymore. Um, uh, there you go. Sorry about that. Um, so, um, Brantley will transform into this Morning Star. This counts as just, like, a weapon that your, uh, person can be holding on to. It doesn't actually take up one of your two equipped weapon spots per person. Um, so instead, this just acts as, like, think of it like a mule kick weapon that you would have in like Call of Duty Zombies, right? Uh, it's just an extra weapon. It doesn't take up an extra spot, but you can easily switch between your other two weapons that you're normally holding on to while using Brantley. Um, so, you know, it gives you a little bit of versatility in combat. Yeah, uh, like a slut. <laughs> in addition to that, uh, the Morning Star has does 1d6 plus whatever your melee modifier is, Johan. Um, for 15 stamina, and uh, if you do the power attack, it'll do the same amount of damage, but you get to do it to two targets that are uh, next to each other. Righteous. Yes. So, uh, and the power attack does 25 stamina. So, I'll just send you over. Uh, in the future, in the future, Brantley, uh, you can send people over the uh, stats of your weapon 
Um, I'm just going to DM it to uh, Lane right now, but uh, in the future, you know, just be on top of whatever weapon you transfer over and whoever's holding you that you kind of give the details on what you do. Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, you transformed into that. You sure there wasn't anything else you wanted to do before you transformed into the melee weapon? Um, I mean, there's not really much I can do. Uh, yeah, unless you wanted to, like, run in or something. Yeah, um, i run in, so. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you transformed into a weapon, and Johan's ghost is now currently holding onto that weapon. Uh, Katie, you said you're back now? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I am here, too. Woo! Okay, I think the next person is technically Jacob, if you wish to do anything, Jacob. Um, Can I see anything? Uh, do I even know anything went wrong yet? Uh, that entirely depends on what Katie said, um, if Katie had given um, any notes. Yeah, I would I would turn around. I would be, like, making hand signals, though. I'm, like, waving my arms around, not saying anything, but trying to get their attention. Because <laughs> I'm worried that I, I'm would notify these guys, so I'm not. So, whatever um, you decipher from her hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> I can see through the door, but only, like, hit this, right? Yeah, yeah. you would only if, be able to see like that. Yeah. If you're looking in this direction, you would be able to see Moxie flailing <laughs> like there's danger. Yeah. So. so so I'm like, okay, there's something in there, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, all right, all right. I'll stand right here. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're going to be right here, Moxie's going to whisper to you, there's a dog. I don't know if there's others, but there's one, and he sees us. As as you also kind of approach the door, you can also now see the dog. <laughs> Sorry. You both said stuff at the same time. My brain charts are going to what? So here's Jacob. Will first. Oh. Uh, I was just going to say that, Jacob, you, you now see the dog now that you've gotten to the door. Okay, oh. yeah. Um, and I said, you're supposed to be the good snake. <laughs> it's not my fault the professor man has allergies. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. she's going to step out of the way. I got you covered. <laughs> be careful, because I don't know what else is in there. No. <laughs> well, I ain't going in there. I'm just standing right here. Too. Okay. All right. Is the dog staying over there? Uh, it's not its turn yet. Uh, okay. Uh, most of you guys actually get to go before it gets to go. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, so uh, technically next it is Lane. <laughs> so take it. I move first, and then my ghost moves first. Or uh, you can choose answer. whichever order you want to go doesn't really matter to me i'm gonna uh tap gallon on the shoulder if mm -hmm. i might step by you real quick please um sure he's going to look inside he's gonna see the dog mm -hmm. but i have no doubt there are others there's always others Mux is just nodding <laughs> Brantley's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Johan is going to push the door open a little bit more. Okay. So at this point, you will be able to just see the rest of the room. Uh, you can oh, see that there that is bad. another zombie inside of here. It might not be that bad, but uh, it's you know. Looking over again, I spy another pocket in here. Are you prepared? Let's go. No, um, you know I always am. I have a... Myself and my comrade will take the dog. Do you think you can handle the vodka? Of course. So we move. I'll, I'll right, cover so. you. Peanut is dancing. <laughs> Johan will move in first. <laughs> ah, I killed him. Followed by his, uh, I can't control the ghost. So yes. just move the ghost right here. Yep. And we're both gonna attack the dog. Alright, so, cool. Same With... time. Uh, we'll have your ghost attack first, just for the fun of it. Um, so, roll a melee attack. Alright. 
Uh, so, ghost melee of 13. Okay, so it's 13. Do you have any added bonuses to your melee? No, plus nope, zero. 13 plus zero. And then you get to add an additional plus three, so that's 16. Okay, which is nice. And 16 is a definite hit. And because he's using, um, uh, what's it called? Xavier right. as a melee weapon. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, now you get to roll some damage. You can roll me a 1d6 uh, plus whatever your melee modifier, which in this case is zero, but you do get to add two. Three? Yep, and oh, you get I get to, to add... add two on top of that? Yep, because you're using Brantley specifically as a melee weapon. So that is five in that case, three plus two. All right, cool. So five. Um, before, as you kind of are, you know, running over there, uh, your ghost is going to swing Brantley around. And as he kind of slams, slams it down, you can actually see the ball on the chain move to more critically hit dead center between the eyes as this morning star slams into the face of the dog as the whole dog's body slumps to the ground and dies. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> um, yes, so. And uh, I, I'm assuming we're going to have Jacob run over to the other zombie. Right, yeah. Jacob? All right. Jacob, you can move your character over to the other zombie. Before he does that, wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to light his shit on fire. You can do it from 40 feet you away can now. You do that at a range oh, now. okay, yeah. Yep. Uh, I forgot about that. Yep. Yes. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom. Little jazz hands. And cast his spell on me. Yeah. So I'm going to cast a spell on you. <laughs> on you. <laughs> now that was magical. <laughs> oh, shit, my head's right. died. Fuck, I'm missing Hex Girl. <laughs> so, uh, so a, my headset's so I'm gonna alive roll now. hit with my bullet dice. Okay. Nice. What's your roll to hit? That was a 16 plus 1, so 17. Uh, sorry, 17? Oh. Yeah, 17 definitely hits. Um, yep. Roll me uh, some damage. Well, not 200. Damage. Damage is... Okay, one d four plus two. That's max damage. That's six damage. Alright. As you... And easy, quickly run up and punch the zombie as he's like, and you just kind of fucking, he just gets a face full of fucking um, fist. Gallon fist. <laughs> yeah. He gets a whole goddamn gallon in his face. He gets has... a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh, and uh, did you even roll the d4 for uh, Katie's fire? Oh, oh, no, I didn't actually. Uh, I killed it anyways. <laughs> You can roll the damage just for fun if you want. Uh, that's another four damage. So, yeah, that's how so we also come bust. Moxie helped. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He falls to the ground. The zombie falls to the ground as a, a, a bit of fire seems to be singed on its face. As it is now currently dead. Um, from what you have, the room is clear. <laughs> Muffled sounds of ghostly violence. <laughs> No, that's the ghostly violence. <laughs> question for the future, Johan. <laughs> question for the future: Can I set Brand on fire? Since yeah. he's a weapon. Yeah. He wouldn't take damage. No, he wouldn't take damage. Oh. <laughs> Brand, can you also set you on fire? <laughs> you set me fire on fire in my regular form. I will. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Set him on fire yeah, is like human. Not. <laughs> right. Nah, Katie okay, just wants to set you later. on fire. Yeah. Fucked up, bro. Nah, I'm the only one she wants to do that to. <laughs> well, I've, I've got my list of enemies. Yeah. Um. Currently, currently Sebastian, because he has allergies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loot. Unless he's also already looting, because it's technically his I don't do looting. <laughs> Katie, you're looting. 
can I, 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 can I explore? Is. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore the room. It's Sorry, where were, you, where were you saying, Lane? Johan dismisses his ghostly friend with another salute. And uh, as your ghost friend disappears, Brantley oh, uh, will real... kind of reappear as a weapon. Real fast. Um, what is the salute? It's just a simple, like, military salute. Yeah, and, the, the um, finger to the forehead. Brought, brought up to the brow. Okay. Uh, when he sees Johan do it, he'll do it too, the, the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um... Not really knowing if that's disrespectful or not. <laughs> uh, Shrooms, do you want me to move you into, uh, into here as well? Yeah, please. Yeah, of course. Um, so, people that are looting. Okay. First, Katie... Yeah. Investigation roll. Uh, Bryce, roll Bryce. an investigation roll. Yes. Hooray! Who else is looting? Zero. I'll loot this dog. Okay. I punch things. I don't loot. Oh my god! Why? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's, my, what's, what's, what's my investigation anyway? Because it actually might be fine. Uh, uh, plus, plus four, four. five. Oh shit. Five is well, not. I need to roll an yeah. investigation check? Uh, yes, Brantley, you should always roll an investigation check. I will tell you if you don't need to roll something. Even even if you don't need to roll it, I still want you to roll it just so that yeah, you can get the XP. Team, so I'll do that. Yeah, so add the XP. I already rolled my 19, but I'm just doing this just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's fine. So, Katie, make sure you don't forget to add your EXP. Okay, cool. Brantley, also because you rolled an 18, I don't do. forget to roll your EXP. Okay, cool. Um, Katie. Uh, upon, let me find this, w. um, yeah, so upon looting through the corpse, you said you got a 19 plus zero? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, upon lo looting through the corpse, um, not able to find anything on him, sadly. Seems like this corpse is not really carrying much of anything. Damn it. And, Johan. uh, yes? I was say, uh, for investigation, for Johan, he's gonna just peek under each of these desks to make sure there's no he zombies He was traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> there are no zombies under any of these desks. Um, Brantley, what you rolled an eighteen plus thirteen? Yeah, so you're crazy fine. Um, this dog, uh, upon further investigation of this dog, you do see that this dog seems to have like almost a bit of a uniform around it, um, and inside of the uh, uniform, you are able to, or not inside the uniform, but in one of like the pouches that is on the like uh, dog body armor. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a little whistle inside of it. If you would like to add a whistle to your inventory, um, you're welcome what to. Play? Uh, just we'll find out. Point one, point one pounds. Um, it weighs five hundred kilograms. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Right. Um, Does the whistle I, do anything? Or is it just like a whistle? Like it's just a whistle. Okay. Uh, so it does whatever. So it's not you like think that a whistle goblin does. horn in fucking Overlord. Oh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe eventually. Um, Katie, or yeah. yeah. So you're walking towards a door that is labeled as archives, and mm -hmm. uh, the door over here is uh, labeled as jail. So as Bryce. You're investigating the room. You go over to this door, which in this door, there is a glass window, a little like square window that you can see inside of it. And as you do, uh, you're going to see that there is a large amount of zombies inside of here. Oh, fuck. But more specifically, a zombie kind of like as you put your face nice and close to it, a zombie face kind of goes up to it and kind of slams its face against the glass. Jump scaring you, knocking you to the ground. 
uh, you don't take any damage, yeah. but that's what you get for your natural one. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a one. It was a five. It's a natural <laughs> one plus four. <laughs> um, uh, Gallon. At, at least it wasn't a zero. Gallon, could you roll me a perception check? Jacob? Uh, yes, sorry. No, you're good. He's muted. Uh, it was a, I rolled a nine. Uh, you said perception, so uh, eight. Yeah. Um, Jacob. Yeah. As you're just kind of looking around the room, as you're starting over here and you look over, you see something. <laughs> Is that my mortal enemy? Oh, no. You see a gallon water jug <laughs> in the corner of the room, just minding its own business. <laughs> I'm immediately going to put it in a headlock. <laughs> yeah. So you, you grab it. You're putting it in a headlock. All right. I need you to roll me a, a d20 real quick um, to grapple it. See if you uh, succeed or if you succeed. See, I love I love when I roll this good when it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Would you roll? That was a... You said it's a grapple check? Yeah. So that's going to be a 24. <laughs> okay, so 19. That's, that's pretty good. I rolled a 13 um, to, to for the water bottle oh. jug to, like, resist your grapple. So let, um, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me say something. It's the first time I think I've ever heard a water jug being able to resist a grapple. All well, right. it's just big. So, kinda, I, I, mean, I, I put it in a hell Hold on. I have, I have the correct friendly there. I I have to correct Brentley real quick. Has, has he ever carried like one of those water jugs? Because they're kind of annoying yeah. to carry. They're yeah, kind of annoying to carry. my house all the time. Like, come do yeah, a thing. Kind of annoying to carry. Yeah. All right. Uh, sorry, Jacob. What were you trying to say? You so put I'm it in, in a headlock. Mm -hmm. And I've, I'm like, I'm like in it. I'm like, you think you're better than me, don't you? <laughs> you think you're several gallons? Hmm? Yeah, I'm the gallon. All right. <laughs> You ain't nothing. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. <laughs> I do. You think you're better like because this. you're 100% water? Yeah, yeah, right. I bet you're like 10% dirt. <laughs> All right, chill, chill a little. You chill say, a little. You should say you think you're 100% gallon? <laughs> Bitch, I'm 100% gallon. <laughs> you might be 100% water. Just a little, please. Intimidate the water. Yeah, you can definitely roll intimidate the water. Give me advantage on that, by the way. Um, bet, bet, okay. 15 plus 3, uh, so it'll be the 15 plus 3. So 18. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oops, I dropped it. 15 plus 3, so that, that's a 18? Mm -hmm. Alright. The condensation on the jug <laughs> drops from, mm -hmm. like, like, now that you've moved it, like, clearly, just from, like, an outside perspective, it's just the condensation falling down. But to your eyes, it looks like sweat dropping <laughs> down the water jug. <laughs> I'd like as, to perform as, a quick action. Yeah, you, you would, you, what's your action that you'd like to do? Okay, the jug I already submitted earlier, that mm -hmm. I, I made submit to me, mm -hmm. and have been carrying around. How how full is is like halfway full probably? Uh, it's pretty full. I would say it's more like seventy percent full. How full is this one? This one is a lot a lot less full. I'd say it's about like forty percent full. My quick action <laughs> is to pull this one off the water cooler and then swirl mine around and just water log it. <laughs> Wait. So, so I pour the, the the heavier one into this more empty one. Mm -hmm. So I'm like waterboarding water. Okay, yeah, I, I totally get what you're trying to do. So... I'm trying to spin it so it like drains faster because you know that... Yeah, 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 yeah I get like you. Tornado you're in the going water, to, with really one fast. hand... Pull out the other jug. With this, you're going to untwist this one, pull it out, as you're going to then put them on top of each other, having the heavier one on top as the water is pouring into this, as you now have, um, as, as, as you are filling up this one water jug all the way up until the very top, 
and now you have a water jug with 100% water and the other one with about 10% water. Um, and then I'm just going to lean down. Don't ever think you're better than me. <laughs> As the remaining 10% of the other water jug is going to fall onto the floor, signifying it, pissing it. That's fine. Um, That's fine. <laughs> you know? That's fine. Then I will pick back up the full one now. You now have a full water jug. Probably uh, a lot heavier now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a lot heavier at this point. Just make it up to uh, thirty pounds. I'm pretty sure it's at nineteen, right? It is at nineteen currently. Yeah. Yeah. So put it up to thirty pounds. Um, that's a good. That's that's a lot of water. So. It's it's a lot of water. It really is. Gallon is going to lose his shit when he sees a lake. Yeah, of course. <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> Can't wait. Water. There's so a... many gallons. Um, yeah, so that's gallon. Jumping back over to <laughs> Johan. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> Johan, as you were looking underneath the desks, um, you weren't able to see anything particular, but you were able to see that out of the uh, computers here, this one is actually still working and on, um, if you would like to investigate that one further. Sure. So as you uh, look into it, obviously you're able to see some security camera footage confirming what Bryce is able to see over here. But uh, more importantly, you're able to see footage of uh, the room inside of here as well. Um, so, yeah, you're able to. Oh, yeah. Oh, Johan oh. is picking something up. <laughs> I saw blue and I immediately zoomed in. I saw like. Ah, there it is. <laughs> blue brand. Uh, as you see that, uh, you can see what seems to be a, a warden-like uh, zombie that is patrolling the quote-unquote halls of the jail as the other sails seem to be open. This sail, which seemed to have some sort of escape hatch into this uh, room, you can see that the person that was possibly in this room that had escaped into this other one didn't make it very far. Um, but you're able to see the archive room itself. And what you're able to see is you're able to see that there is a passcode that you can try to input into here, into this, uh, into, into this console that would help unlock this door. Um, while, while he's doing it, that, Boxy's just kind of like fiddling with the door, just kind of pulling on it. <laughs> yes, uh, you can also see camera footage <laughs> of this room as well, so you can also see Boxy doing that. Um, in addition to that, you do see that you do have the ability to um, remotely open the door right here. Uh, no passcode needed, you could just remotely open that door. Okay, I'm going to leave that one locked for certain. Mm-hmm. Johan is actually going to do a slight whistle over to Moxie. Moxie, come here. What? I'm, I'm busy. I, I got this. Look. The door can unlock from this computer. Come here. You could have let me have this. He's going to step over to show her the uh, cameras. <laughs> At this point, Xavier, you oh, can also yeah. see the computer since you're right here as well. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to take Harry Xavier here. We will go to this door, and when I give you the signal, you will open it. She needs a password. She there, There's a password to unlock this specifically door. This one, you Do can unlock the without the password. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can start, if you have hacking skills, you can try to hack into it or something. Johan is not good with computers. Okay. Actually, hang on, let me check. Oh, he's got a plus zero. He's decent with computers i have a plus three hey that'll work that perfect i mean yeah Johan's gonna look over <laughs> to xavier do you have a weapon that you can use i could turn into one <laughs> very well i am my weapon and you're just gonna I nod yourself at one of my companions wait katie 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 your stats are flipped remember we flipped your charisma and your Oh, that's right. We we are we are flipping a lot of these around. We're uh, gonna work I, on that. Yeah, and Fuck. so does she not have a good hacking? Bag? She does not. She has a plus zero in computers, not a plus three. So about the same as Johan. Uh huh. 
It's so not it bad. Been... It's just an average. Yeah, it's yeah. average. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll fix that with you after the session, Katie. We'll, we'll do it okay. tomorrow. Um, I with, yeah, I thought we fixed it. Split, is it going to be better or worse? Worse. Her, her instead of having a plus three, she has a plus zero. But if you want to, you can have uh, either Sebastian or Penelope help. They're the more intelligent people in your groups. Um, they do not Johan's going to look over. <laughs> Sebastian, come to here better. Okay. <laughs> uh, help, help Moxie here with this computer. Find the password for that door over there. I spy something in the archives that might be useful to us. I roll a uh, hacking here? Uh, yeah, it's just computers, Jack. Computer, 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 sorry. Could I assist? Uh, yeah, you can assist. So uh, if you're assisting, Bryce, roll with advantage. And Xavier, I'm assuming you're going with Lane. I'm actually going to use my real dice because I'm tired of getting low. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's how I felt the first session we did this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, so like, I still roll uh, bad sometimes. Worked out, but... <laughs> worked out much better. Twenty-one. Twenty-one with the advantage. Yeah, with the advantage. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Feel free to add XP if you rolled a high enough number, a number above it, uh, seventeen. Uh, or sorry, fifteen. Um, but Johan will summon his companion. All right, uh, companione. Give me a second. Day. All right, there you go. See, companione. Yep. He's here in front, I guess. Oh, Johan was gonna have it like said next to him, bracing with the uh, when the door opens. Do you want Xavier to 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 lead the charge then? Well, I thought Xavier was going to turn into a weapon. Oh, sure. Xavier, are you going to turn into a melee weapon? Yeah, I'm not All at right. my PC right now. I'm getting a drink. You're good. <laughs> All right, so Xavier is now a melee weapon in your ghost hand. Um, Perfect. Again, Katie, you can light him on fire if you want to. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we I'm did gonna determine. do that. Okay, so, so you're going to yeah, see I'll that... Land. Xavier turned into a weapon, and then the weapon itself go as the weapon ignites on fire. And you said you rolled a 21, correct? So, as Bryce, as you sit down into the computer, you kind of crack your knuckles, stretch a little bit, as you start quickly tapping onto the computer, as what you do is you pull up the command prompt mm -hmm. and go through the, uh, go, go past the firewall as you're able to break in, you're able to find remnants behind of the password as you find the password is actually just password with an at symbol for the a um so it's a at word um basically um not a bad password actually <laughs> yeah so um p at password <laughs> yeah exactly password password um p ass word yeah it's p ass word um so as you figure that in, you can type it up quickly, and you can look over at Johan, if you'd like to. Um, I will nod to him, signif signifying that I have actually unlocked the door, and he can open it. Johan will nod, and he'll open the door. All right. Um, as the door opens, the zombie, noticing the door opening, is going to attempt to... Uh, a move towards you guys, but let me see what its initial is. Holy shit, a natural motherfucking 20. Um, zombie did just roll a, a natural 20. Um, with Brantley's natural 20. Brantley, you still technically would have been able to go first, but you're currently in your weapon form. So unless you want to unweapon yourself and do something else beforehand... Otherwise, it's going to jump over to the zombie's turn. Um, there's not really much I can do, so... Well, it's, it, if you wanted to... What, sir? I was like, do I need to roll initiative again? Uh, no, we're using the initiatives that are just kind of you guys entering into the jail. Do I uh, Do I have a, a melee weapon on me? Uh, yeah, I'm you do. You Remember, you have a sword. You have, like, this, like, scrap iron sword. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Can I, can I, like, go into a sword and then... Like attack and then jump out and then um Yeah, you can you can totally you can totally like un unbecome a weapon 
yeah. move over here, and then if you have enough stamina, you can or attack. If you have enough stamina, you can move back and turn it. I weapon definitely again. do have. I definitely Wait. do. Wait, yes, do that. Let us let the zombie come to us first. Because us is in the cell next to it, and I would rather they do not notice our presence. If we bring the creature here, it will be less likely to be noticed. Okay then, I will turn back into. No, no, no! You can stay oh. into like your human, your humanoid okay. form. Just saying, let the zombie come to you. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. So. Um, I will say, uh, because you untransformed into your, <coughs> uh, untransformed into your weapon, and you have your sword there. Uh, the fire that Katie had transferred over to your sword instead. Um, oh shit! So you can be holding your sword, ready to attack as it comes. So what's going to end up happening is the next time it's going to move towards you guys and as it uh moves past you brantley you get a free chance to attack this zombie okay. uh so roll me a melee attack i got an 18 okay uh was that a 19 minus one 18 minus one i think is what it is 18 minus one okay cool uh add an exp to your melee um yeah, add an EXP to your melee, and uh, roll me some damage. You get to roll me, if I'm correct, what is it, a D6? Yeah, it's a, a, uh, were you doing a power attack? Oh, uh, I guess not. Uh, it doesn't really matter in this case. Yeah. Um, so just do a D6, and uh, then roll me a D4. Okay. All right, D6. five and a three all right so eight damage as the zombie walks in you're going to see brantley uh well i guess brantley do you want to flavor this kill in your si 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 uh, situation you're welcome to flavor it if you'd like to um you've killed it how do you how do you want to kill it is what I'm asking. so he's going to go in and um he's going to slice his throat completely open and then stab his body with the flame sword and then his body's gonna compose into flames and be like, ah, like the good old days. All right, yeah, <laughs> I like it. So you're you're gonna slice the throat, stick the sword into the stomach, kind of turn it so his guts start pouring out, and there's gonna be this <sighs> as fire you can see kind of envelops the whole body as even smoke starts coming out of the eyes and the mouth of this zombie as it slumps over and it falls to the ground, kind of landing right in front of you, Lane. Um, uh, but the zombie no, just gonna is take an now... extra step back so the blood and guts don't get on his boots. Yeah, that's fine. Um... <laughs> I'm back for this. I'm so sorry. All's Welcome good. Back. But yeah, so uh... and then I'm gonna loot the zombie. All right, cool. You can loot the zombie. Roll me an investigation check just for the fun of it. Uh, natural twenty. Johan's gonna take natural twenty. So oh, that, nice. for 20 plus 13? So, well, 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 that's a 33. I don't know what you want okay. to do with okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> 33 is awesome, by the way. But because you're a natural 20, you get to actually get to roll on the secondary loot table. Um, just for the fun of it, because you rolled a natural 20 for the investigation. Roll again. Um, so when looting this zombie, um, you are able to find two bandages, if you'd like to add that to your inventory. But what I would actually like you to do is for you to roll me a d10 just a d10 in this case a d10. Yeah. i got an eight an eight okay uh, brantley mm -hmm. on this zombie you are able to see a or uh, you're, you're you're looking for the zombie and besides finding two bandages that you can add to your inventory um you find a ring that just has this aura about it. Right. Yes, bless you. Um, Thank you. It has this aura about it that it feels. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like just an accessory, right? Mm -hmm. It's another you rock. You don't quite. It's not another rock, but <laughs> <coughs> you don't quite know. Or, or know what it is, but it's just that internal gut feeling of there's something about this ring. Okay. Um, cool. 
Um, I'm trying to think. Um, would I? Would anybody else be able to figure out what the ring is, or how would I be able to do that? Or would well, if you'd like to, I can't figure it out. yeah. If you if you would like to um, look into this a little bit further, you can. If you give me a wisdom check. Oh god, what's my wisdom? Yours is a minus one. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay. I'll do it. Fuck it. Do I need to roll d20? Yep, d20. I got 13. 13 minus, minus one, eight, twelve. Um, you can't fully understand what it is, but... You've traveled around, you've been to a lot of places, you've seen a lot of things, and the one thing that um, you've heard rumors about is creatures that are called Yiths. And um, what they have is they oh. have these powers <laughs> that seem to be beyond normal capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some can can summon things or um some some can shoot out these balls of fire and um are able to teleport or are able to do all these sorts of things that from your knowledge are really things that you can only find in video games or tv shows or movies or stuff like that it's not something that your character has really been familiar with but if there's anything that you've ever thought could possibly be of some sort of eldritch nature of any kind or magical nature of any kind, this object feels like it might be. What a slap in the face reminder. What? <laughs> the minute you said yes, I was like, oh shit, we're still in that universe. <laughs> yeah, we're still in yeah, the Stardew universe. Yeah, the moment you said that word, up, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, wait a minute. This I was like, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad everyone else remembered as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I, I was going to wait until everyone said, until someone said something. No, I was going to keep a secret if no one remembered. <laughs> <laughs> But this ring itself, you're not quite able to tell what it might be. Okay. I'll well Xavier's gonna put the ring on his finger. Okay. Yeah. Curse jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yum. Oh, is it a bad thing? That worked so, out so well for Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting though. Right when you put this ring on your finger your character does disappear oh what the fuck oh, oh my god <laughs> i Here fucking go. called it <laughs> third character no your character's not dead um but you do see two things okay one I well actually one of them I want you to I want you to roll a perception check. Um but the first thing I could tell you is when you put the ring on, your maximum HP is reduced by half. Oh, I'm taking this shit off. <laughs> um roll me a perception check before you do that. Okay. Okay. I'll get to you that in a second, Johan. Well, my perception uh, is plus six, so does it okay. Here. Uh, wait, Johan, be here. <laughs> you I gotta got be 13 here. plus, plus 6 is 19. 13 plus 6 is 19. Um, yeah, that's that's good enough. So first off, one thing that you're going to notice is you're going to notice two things about Lane's character or Lane's summon and the zombie here. So first off, Lane's summon is... Um, Lane's summon looks like a... Um, What's up? Looks like a normal human. Um, you don't see any wounds on the individual. It looks like actually um, like the ghost version of itself, but except uh, insect, instead of being like kind of see-through-ish and um, showing a clear wound of how this individual may have uh, passed on, um, instead that wound seems to be fully healed, and instead you get to just see 
the person as is. Um, and you're able to see that person perfectly. The second thing that you're able to see is the zombie also looks like a person. Rather than looking like the rotten flesh version of it, it looks more of like a person that had been put to put to rest with a um, a slit throat and the stab in the ch in like the stomach area. The person itself seems to look normal. Um, since you're immediately going to take off the ring after feeling weak. Um, your HP goes back up to what its maximum is. Okay. Um, Xavier's gonna be like, "Yo, what the fuck is this thing?" And then get the get it like. And you're also reappear with the rest of them. Okay. Did any of us see that blip? Uh. Galen definitely didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Galen and Penelope, if you guys were chit chatting, probably not. Barry's probably just kind of sitting there resting. I would say. Katie, you and Sebastian could probably have seen it. I would have, I would have pointed it out. And like that's kind of weird. <laughs> you know, shit. Where did he go? How long was he invisible for? I guess, quote unquote. Uh, I mean, how long did it take you to take the ring off? Like three seconds. <laughs> you know, like he was just like gone and then back. Like it looked like he glitched out of the world for a second. Like. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna hold on to this thing, but just not gonna wear it. All right. What you got there? A nice ring. Yeah, I'll add the I'll add it to your inventory. So. Thank you. Uh, Where the fuck did you go? Uh, you're asking the wrong person, Bucko. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> okay. Cool. Kind of just. Uh, we're like asking. Her, I think. I was, and then I was able to see, uh, Johan's soldier here as a, like a real person. And then the zombie here was also a real person. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And then I took this ring off. It just felt weird. It felt awkward. So I... The ring may have been laced. May have been laced. Uh, probably. How would someone lace a ring with drugs like that? I don't know. You never know. Can't explain the fact that he fucking disappeared. Did I mean, no one else saw that except for you, obviously. Whatever. I, we're just gonna move that, on. We're in a fucking zombie that apocalypse. Doesn't signify, that doesn't signify anything to me that he that he that it was laced with something. Just that this thing might be a bit beyond our comprehension at the moment. Well, your guess is as good as mine, Professor. Also, Sebastian, if you were there, I'll move you over. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Johan. Yes. So you um, are looking through, and so first off, you're going to find a blueprint. Um, where's the I did specify that Johan was also being as uh, quiet and sneaky as possible in this Sure, room. roll me a stealth check. All right, one second. My stealth. No, I should also write it down. Uh, that is 15 minus 2 for a 13. Uh, you said 13? Yeah. Which I think is a little bit... Two. Yeah, which is a little bit better than what your passive stealth is. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, so you're sneaking in long enough, or in enough. As you kind of look into here, you can tell that this door seems to be locked shut still. Um, hopefully giving you a little bit more of a sense of a security there. But... Still not wanting to anger the rest of the zombies, uh, being quick, you quickly look through the files as you find a blueprint there. Um, the blueprint um, is, uh, where is it? Yeah, so the blueprint there is actually not just a blueprint but is actually more of a recipe uh the recipe is for something called hobo stew where it says it uses possum raccoon squirrel along with water salt and pepper and some chili powder uh, long story short you just need some meat water 
uh, water source and a little bit of seasoning, but if you can have all that stuff, you can make some hobo stew. Luckily for hobo stew, it makes about four pounds of it, and um, four pounds of it is worth about 12 rations. So normally, for most food items, one pound is one ration. For hobo stew, it's a little bit more effective, so you don't weigh, you don't weigh as much um, for the food, so it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, and it's not terribly expensive to, to uh, make. If you don't mind, could you also uh, roll me a chemistry check? Yeah, give me one second. I'll DM this to you, Lane. Okay. You said chemistry? Yes, sir. Oh, how lucky. I got a 15. Perfect. Uh, 15 plus anything or no? No, it's a 15 plus zero. Okay, well, you first off, you can add an XP point. Um, <laughs> All right, Johan knows something when it comes to making rations. <laughs> well, uh, some other papers there, but... You're not quite sure what entirely can be used, but you do find a set of logs, which I am also going to send over to you, that if you'd like to, you can read out to the rest of the party uh, when you get okay. back to them. Am I able to... Is it on a paper that I can take? Yep, it is on a paper that you can take. Uh, just assume it's <laughs> yeah. one of these papers, but you know we don't have to move it around anymore. <laughs> But I'm already reading this and already <laughs> I don't like it. Yep. So you're welcome to um, <laughs> You're welcome I'm assuming you're heading out of the Yeah, just sorry, I was adding the blueprints to my yeah, inventory. No, um Okay. Johan yeah. will once again dismiss his ghostly companion with a salute. Salute. As it sucks back inside of you. And yes. Anything else you guys would like to do or discuss? We should Johan's gonna look over at Xavier, Sebastian, and Moxie. And we should head back to the others. I have found some things that we all need to hear. Roger, sir. Xavier's going to salute at him. <laughs> yeah, I second that notion. <laughs> Xavier's going to twerk on this. Uh, not twerk on this. I'll be uh, teabag the zombie and walk away. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The temper Peter Bree. So, uh, who is this guy up here? This guy. So that guy is a man named Barry. He was somebody that was found with um, with uh, Xavier uh, when they were escaping. Barry was on the verge of death, but luckily your brilliant medicine doctor man, or woman in this case, uh, was able to help stem off the infections. Oh, uh, Lane, were you shutting the door behind you or no? Yes. I was making sure to make sure they're closed. Okay. I, I won't always catch you on that, but just physically move it next time, you know? Roger that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm dealing with my dog because he hears dogs downstairs again. Get off, Finn. Are we leaving? Well, hold on. Uh, now that everyone's here, Johan is also going to show the paper to everyone else. I don't read good. <laughs> Looks oh, simple enough. So it's just meat, seasoning, and water. Can you handle it, Gallon? No, the, the logs that he oh. found. So, Will, if you wouldn't mind posting that to the zombies of Landry while I keep my dog under control. Yes, sir. Um... Zombies and Landry. Whoops, I just put it in the wrong one. 
Uh, Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, God. A long set of logs that do seem to be shown before you. Um, Lane, would you like to be the one to read it, or would you pass it on to somebody else who would like to read it instead? I think he's handling the dog. Is this a vault tech? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> kind of. Sounds like so. So so while he's so while he's doing this, I'm gonna take it from Johan and then I will read. Okay. Yeah. Sebastian. We, we will... were we were two and three, right? Uh. Well, you can double check based off of the uh, looking at the tomb numbers. <laughs> this is for tomb four. It seems just four. I only yeah. I've only seen tomb four. I mean, we have to have been one of the last four because we we were still alive. <laughs> yeah. Rip but, Rooney, the people in room six and eleven for uh, getting a uh, weevil outbreak. Okay. So, well, well. To be them. Before you, before we're talking about it, why don't we have Sebastian? Why don't you read it out loud to the people at home and for you guys in the future? You guys can all remember this um, if you guys ever go back and watch these mods. Um. um. Section 4F, date, August 5th, 1978. Uh, section 4A, purpose and understanding. These tombs were created to understand the breakdown of the human psyche. By placing subtle auditorial sounds, we can create ho a hostile environment that promotes anger and headaches to rise with, within in the, the individuals. This will allow us to transition to our next phase of dispensing gas into the rooms that will cause hallucinations to occur. Once the hallucinations have finally set in, we will be able to open the doors, and, and with the carefully constructed fear suits, we will we will terrorize them and force them into submission. Once their mind is controlled and destroyed by hallucinations, we will use them for experimenting on on the limits of controlling the human mind. Section four B: Expected results. We believe the article was cut off from the paper underneath it. Uh, but it goes into a bunch of logs uh, based around the tombs uh, specifically. Uh, Jeremy Yalkowicz, Dedalog, date May 22nd, 1983. Tomb rooms, current status. Most rooms seem to be working as expected, but rooms 3, 6, 11, and 18 failed to play the audio. Instead, transi tra instead transitioning to watching them take care of themselves, Rooms 13, 15, 17, and 19 all had had a, had a cave-in and failed. Remaining rooms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So at the end, you can see that it lists the remaining rooms that are still technically not destroyed or failed or anything like that. Um, if you wish to continue reading, otherwise I can pick it up from there if you'd like to. Um, I can continue. Okay, yeah, continue then. Uh, date, June 18th, 1983, tomb rooms current status. Rooms 6 and 11 had had a canned weevil outbreak and lost most of their food. Tensions are rising, but and, and we still may be able to use them for further experimenting. We had some more cave-ins in rooms 10 and 12. Rooms 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 11, and 14 have had... At least one death from violence out from violent outbreaks, and rooms five, sixteen, and twenty have all killed each each of the point where we sent in security to put the, put down the remaining members. For all other rooms except rooms three, six, eleven, and eighteen, we were we we are all we're about to start to start the hallucinations. Remaining rooms one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, fourteen, and eighteen. Uh, Date, July 5th, 1983. Doom Room's current status. O only rooms 3, 4, 9, 11, and 18 remain. All other rooms ha either killed each other, attacked the guards w with the fear suits on, or seemed to be ho so hollow that they that they re reacted to nothing. Rooms 9 and 11 seem to be, uh, be the best working rooms as for now. We wish to continue observing them. Remaining rooms 3, 4, 9, 11, and 18. 
A date, August 8th, 1983. Tomb rooms, current status. Room 4 failed yesterday. Yesterday, A cave, a cave and destroyed it all. Room 11 began its hallucinations last month and seems to be going the exact same way as the others. More than likely, we will have to terminate them. It sounds like, it sounds like next month we are going to, going to open Room 9, terminate Room 11, and at the same time, too. Uh, remaining rooms 3, 9, 11, and 18. Uh, date, September 22nd, 1983. Uh, tomb Room's current status. Tomorrow we plan to open rooms 9 and 11. We believe these might be the only rooms that, that we get a chance to test Phase 3 on. N new report tomorrow. The remaining rooms 3, 9, 11, and 18. The report ends here. Yep. And as you finish reading the report, um, you do find a recipe at the end of it. It seems to be a... Um, what's it called? It seems to be a recipe for a healing salve that can be created using uh, purple herbs and cloth to make make makeshift healing salves. Uh, basically like a makeshift healing bandage. Um... It's on a little note card. I am going to send that directly to you. That word's a lot of words. Even my brain's well, hurting a little. Well, just the gist of how it, I feel. <laughs> well, the gist of everything means is that we were just all being used for for experimentations. Uh, Will, do I remember what room we were in? Uh, yes, yeah, so you guys were in room three, if I'm correct. One Fucking of the only cold. rooms that uh, didn't, one of the only rooms that didn't have anything, um, well, didn't have the auditory. Good. So instead, what they did is they decided to transition to watching you guys, just seeing how you guys are going to end up surviving. Um, nine and eleven uh, were the ones that were opened up before whatever disaster had happened. Those were the two rooms that were already opened up before you um what's it called uh actually sorry it's supposed to be 9 and 12 but i miscounted but my bad right <laughs> um but what 9 and 12 is here? supposed to be the ones that are there and then uh xavier you were in room 18. so were we the only ones just chilling you guys were oh, sorry. <laughs> we were pretty much the control group at this point Well, whatever. A second well, experiment. We're still alive, so. Yeah, and we were actually one of the fortunate ones that didn't get hosed with the hallucinatory gas. Who knows what that That's stuff could have done to us? Uh, hol 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 what does that word mean? <laughs> it basically makes you. Ch it makes you see and hear things. So, like when I get real drunk. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Yes, but even worse. Uh, you, you were, you were a cop, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kellen? So you have arrested people while they were high on drugs, correct? I never actually got to arrest anybody, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you have you experimented with drugs? No, no, I ain't touched that stuff after what happened to my uncle. Just name me. Well, sometimes certain drugs can cause hallucinations, and that's what that that's what that means. I see. Hallucinations. Hallucinations. Close enough. Yes. Max is just going to pat you on the shoulder. I'm trying. <laughs> I appreciate it, buddy. Either way, we ended up being the lucky ones that didn't get experimented on. As far as we know. Well. Yeah, I do know. wonder, though. I, I do wonder, though, if we haven't been exper if we have been experimented on, because the way that uh, the, way that the, the way that other fellow uh, worked, I can't remember at least the previous character statement. Baron. Sorry, Baron. The way that Baron, the, the way that Baron acted after he was converted into a zombie was definitely strange. Also, um, it's I could barrel like a zombie. It's worth noting that we only got these super special superhero powers after we inhaled some fumes. From that uh, one guy. Maybe he's got them illumination dreams. <laughs> I'm just I'm just clarifying for everybody. You see the fire that I do, right? That's yeah. not just me. Unless we're all under the same 
Illuminations. I'm, I'm the only one who don't got superpowers. I just punched extra hard. <laughs> Doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Once we have time in a safer Here's location, there. I will explain to you, Herr Gallen. Uh, I'll, okay. <laughs> Look, your superpower is your super hard, alright? That's all you need to know. Which way? <laughs> Sorry. You're right, Monty, yep. <laughs> <laughs> She's yep. snickering under her mask. Yep. Alright, <laughs> so what we doing now? I assume we ain't taking them zombies in the cells. Hell no. Right. For now, we should get back to the cafeteria area from the way we came in. And then perhaps find our way out going further north. I mean, should we just avoid this entire area where they're dancing to pop yes. music? We should avoid this area. Right. So you're saying we go all the way back around? Uh, well, going back up to where... Um... Never mind. No, you but, say what you say. No, I, don't, I was being stupid. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> but what if we come across that gas zombie again and he sprays that illuminations all over the place again? Hold your breath. Well, he seemed to be smart, right? Uh, he that, could I'm... be a guy in a suit. We don't know. You're right, Moxie. What if he's wearing a zombie like a meat suit? <laughs> <laughs> they did say that they were Whoa. wearing horror suits. Wait, wait, what's going on? I'm back. What's happening? Welcome back. We had a whole bunch of logs that we just read describing uh, the we had tests. a whole ass lore dump. Oh, yeah. The oh. tests that were performed in the other uh, tomb uh, rooms. Holomagations. But yeah, I was here. Oh. I was here for most oh. of that. I just went to okay. go get a drink really quick, fellas. I see. I was in the whole time. Right. right. Now, I just, I just want to tell you, back. don't feel free to DM me. Of course, Melissa can always come in and listen with us. Just, I just want you to. Know I, was that. Just I was just checking. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 of course. Anybody is welcome to come and sit, and listen to us if they want to. Hell yeah. <laughs> can I? Yes. Oh, Gallon, you're allowed. <laughs> no, you can't, Gallon. <laughs> you gotta sit this one out. Yeah, sorry, Gallon. You're not here this session. <laughs> no, Gallon's allowed. Only water. Yeah, only leaders. <laughs> the betrayal. I uh, will murder everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Han, I'm really glad that you didn't mention that there was a, there was, there was gallons of water in that room that you were just in. Shh. Keep it down. I didn't see it. Oh, no. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a smart idea to go all the way back around so we don't trigger this entire horde of undeads. Yes. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if whatever is affecting everyone else may have also been affecting those who wore the suits. Perhaps at one point he was just wearing a suit, but after everything that's happened, he might have become bonded to it. That may be that the seems case. to be the likely case, actually. Or if he's that the one spewing the them gassins, he breathing too much, he might be way too gone. Hey, uh, Will? Mm -hmm. That's a weirdly could I, bad could I Could I investigate these two things right here? The, this coffee, it looks like coffee, I'm gonna assume it's coffee. And this uh, thing the two vending like machines? Cute. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a chip vending machine and a drink vending machine, if you'd like to. Meh. Um... So looking so at the vending machine, oh boy. So the drink vending machine, rather than being like the previous vending machines that you were able to find that had the glass front, this one is just like the plastic front with like the giant like a uh, uh, conch bottle on it, um, <laughs> and and just <laughs> and just buttons on the side of it that you could press to um, try to get different drinks. Um, and it, you can find most made up soda names. Uh, other set of names are available, um, but uh, you can find most soda name available, like uh, you know, Conk, PB, uh, all that shit, right? Uh, <laughs> so, Bebis. so I'm yeah. going to, uh, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to press one of the buttons to see the price of the drinks. Uh, you press the button and the power's not on for it. 
Damn it. That's a oh, crying well, actually, shame. You can, instead, uh, if you want to, look at the chip machine if you'd like, or do something else here. Um, is there is there a lock on it, on the vending machine? Yeah, you could, if you wanted to try to pick the lock, you'd just tell me how you're going to pick it. I was gonna have Gain, I was gonna have Gallon just uh just punch it. I mean, I he can try to pry it open if you want. Last time I did that, I hurt myself. I'm not doing that. He's not doing that because you see these things right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it I got that too. Um, yeah. What is the secu What is security? Or is flight of hand within this? If I were to unlock it. Sorry. Say what you were saying. What, what, what would I need to roll if I wanted to unlock it? But it would be a sleight of hand check, but I am also going to require you to tell me like how you're going to try to lockpick it. Okay, like, I, you need lockpicks or something. Like... Bobby pin, I don't know. just has to make sense. Um, actually... Hmm. So is it's how, 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 how and... <laughs> how and... Hallucin... <laughs> Halloumi. That's a cheese, isn't it? Halloumination. Hallucinations. Moxie, for the time being, I would suggest that we wait until we find a proper area to rest. For now, we must focus on staying alive. Once we yeah, it's going to take a little too long. We will teach Galen a few things. Just a big word. Just Anything you want to do, guys? Okay, so I do have a thing that I could probably do. So uh, one of the writing pads uh, is, is is it a spiral writing pad with like the metal spiral on it? Or sure, is it just we can a... say one of them is a spiral. If you want to try to unravel it to use that as like a lockpick, you can totally try to do that. Um, yeah. If you fail, though, well, just roll. We'll see. Well, it, it depends on how badly you fail, but we'll see. Wow, assuming I'm just gonna fail. Well, well, well. but <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that. I, if if you if you fail bad enough, it's gonna end up breaking it, and you're just gonna have a bunch of loose leaf paper. <laughs> um, so I got a 16 because I get an 18 minus two. 18 minus two. Well, you can obviously add one exp point to your uh, check. Um, yeah, you can you can open it up and inside you can see the vending machine and you can see that there is, you know, it, it's like half stocked, roughly. Like it's like half full. I assume that because of the time length, it's 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 not they're not cold. They're kind of lukewarm. Yeah, well, the machine's also turned off, so it's definitely not cold. Um, they're 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 warm. They're honestly a bit stale at this point, um, or flat. Right. Uh, are there are there bottles of water in there? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's there's like a row that that has water. It's all the way at the bottom. Though. <laughs> Hold up. Hold, hold, I'll take I'll, I'll take the I'll take the bottles of actually no wait. How many cans of soda are there? Assuming they're cans. Uh, they're not cans. They're all like plastic bottles. Um, I would say each bottle is like two pounds. Uh, I would say for each bottle, there's like six of them. And let's say there's like seven different types of sodas and one type of water. So there's like eight times six <laughs> drinks in there. Uh, 48 times six? Yeah. So yeah, 48, 48 drinks, which times that by two, that's, uh, whatever, 90, 90, 96. yeah, 96 pounds. Um... So I got these drinks unlocked. Would anyone like to help me carry these? You got any liquor in there? No, mostly water no. and soda. Penis. <laughs> any energy drinks in here? If you count, uh, caffeine is uh, caffeine, <laughs> caffeine, and uh, caffeine and fructose corn syrup are our source of energy. <laughs> yeah, liquid dew or something, whatever we want to call it. Uh, <laughs> Kill dew. Then I'm gonna go over the other vending machine. Okay. So, that out. whoever whoever is grabbing drinks, you can add drinks to your inventory. Each one is gonna be two pounds. Just keep that in mind. Uh, I yeah. Going lie. into this I one, this one does water. just <laughs> club water. I have my sub water. Oh. I made it submit to me. Remember your submission <laughs> water. Yes. Uh, 
<laughs> your your domesticated water. Yep, it's mine. <laughs> oh, um, okay, she so said there's six bottles of so six drinks per thing. Yep, so there's six, six bottles, bottles of water. water. Yep. Feel free to grab those six bottles of water. Um, I am. Uh, Katie, if you want to grab some drinks, you can as well. Sebastian, this one is just like a glass vending machine. You can just see directly inside of it. Um, it seems um, to he's be... Not gonna, he's, it seems he's to not have... Gonna try to sh he's, he's not going to try to shatter the glass. He's going to try to actually lockpick this one, too. That way it creates less noise. Sure, you're welcome to try to lockpick this. I would say that like it's kind of broken up into three sections. First section is food items. Second section is... Um, What's it called? Uh, like like desserts, like 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 little snack bars, like Kit Kats and stuff like that. And then the third section is like office supply stuff. So either there's like mechanical pencils, uh, eraser, you know, overpriced notebooks, stuff like that. And you do even see that there is what seems to be one remaining box of bandages that is there um, as well. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna open it for the specific for the bandages specifically, but also the food because. Even though it's not good for you, it's still food. Yep. Um, hey, calories are calories. Roll me a d20. Yep. Correct. Uh, I got a seven. I got a seventeen minus two, so fifteen. Uh, you do not pass the lock picking on this one. No. No. Uh, okay. Let's see if I got something else that I could try here. You get, I give you one or two options. Either you can pry it open or you can break it open. Well, I don't have anything to pry it open with. Yeah. Prying is always, generally speaking for me, prying is always a bit more of a difficult check because you can always pry for lock picking. Um, it is not as difficult. Like, it, I mean, it's not a crazy difference. It's just the DC is a little bit lower for lock picking, but it does require you to have something else that it can be used for a lock pick. And um, those lockpicks could break, right? So there's a little bit of an extra step there. So those DCs tend to be a little bit lower. Generally speaking, that's how I, I do things, um, just for your knowledge. Um, but you can obviously break something, break it open. You know, if you break it open, then you're making noise. So keep that in mind. Does anybody even want to try to get these bandages out with me? With how close we are to these creatures out, out there, even with the wall and the music playing, I do not want to risk perhaps breaking it and causing even more noise. Can I attempt to fish the wire out of there? What do you mean? Sorry, fish the wire out. Like where? how you unlocked it? I assumed you just took the wire back, right? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm back. Uh, then I'm going to try to see if I can't find anything else here. So I would say you would have maybe one more. Uh, oh, sorry. You, you, sorry. You're talking about I, my brain. Sorry. It was completely lost. No, yeah. You lost the wire. You failed. So you lost the wire. My bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My that's, brain. That's, was... that's why. I, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm trying to see if I can't figure it out. Um, okay. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to take the key ring that has that's currently housing my car keys, and I'm going to try to fashion that one into a pick. Uh, you can't. I'm not going to let you lock pick it again. The wire's already kind of stuck into it. It wouldn't be possible to do it since it's already. Oh, that's off. why I asked if I could finish it off. I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. um, well, question. Yeah. These four computer desks here. Were they having to have any compressed air, like hand air? Uh, roll for it. Well, I not think I not likely, it. but if I get a fifteen or higher, sure. <laughs> well, eighteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I can know what Lee's doing. I will grab the canned air and I will walk over. It's almost oh, empty, gosh. though. That's fine. I just need a little bit. Yep. That's all I need. Pardon me, Sebastian out of his way. Johan is going to hand Sebastian the shovel. When I say 
use this to slowly pry it open and we should have at the very least significantly less noise if this succeeds if this doesn't then we shall leave this for another time <coughs> So I'm going to hand him the shovel. I'm going to turn the canned air upside down. I'm going to spray it into the lock. Okay. Oh, also, just because since I failed, do I still do? Do I still get the plus one to my skill? Yeah, if you rolled 15. above fifteen, you always you always okay. get the plus one. Okay, you get the understand. experience whether you actually succeed at it or not. You just yeah, because you were practicing. Um, all right, Bryce, you can roll a prying check, um, with okay, advantage on the shovel. Well, with a lower DC, prying? not with advantage, I'm lowering the DC. I see. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Bryce? Isn't Lane doing the prying, so shouldn't he roll the... No, I, I handed the shovel to Sebastian. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I was confused. I was having, I was oh, gonna what? say, I was gonna say, I told Sebastian to put the shovel in and start prying as I spray so that way hopefully as the lock freezes the sudden change in tension and temperature will cause the lock to break a lot easier and hopefully at less noise okay so what am I rolling for that prying I think it's okay. under strength yeah, yeah. That is an 18. 20 minus 2, 18. You rolled a natural 20? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you rolled a natural 20, yep, you can pop it open, and you can grab out the bandages. So even if it's a minus 2, do I st and I can roll a natural 20, do I still get the plus 2? Or is it just plus 1 because of the minus? I think so, you still get the plus two. Yeah, you, you still get the plus two, two because you rolled the natural 20. So you add XP based off of the number you roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do okay, with the yeah. final number. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm just trying I'm just, yes. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm you're good. Uh, yeah. It's good to clarify. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, anybody that wants to add any sort of chips or little snack foods or whatever else to their inventory, you are welcome to. Each one is going to be two pounds, but for each nope, of the food items... Gallon I'm going to protein. <laughs> there is Slim Jims in there if Gallon wants some. <laughs> Anyways, Bryce, I'm going what were you to, saying, I'm, bud? I'm going to hand the bandages to Penelope since she's our resident doctor. Okay. Uh, Penop, you there? Yes, Penop is here. Yep. Uh, roll me a D10. Okay. Johan's going to uh, ask for his shovel back. Mm -hmm. Getting in the shovel bag. I'm gonna grab the office supplies, and everyone else can grab the food. I figured the I figure some of the office supplies will actually be very useful for us for sure later. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Fair. So how I many got erasers? A... Would you get shrooms, sir? I got a two. Okay, you can add. Uh, roll, roll it again. Actually, <laughs> quick. She's a little. Okay. Well. Uh... Uh, that'd be another two. <laughs> okay, add four bandages to your inventory. <laughs> or I'll add the four. But, <laughs> that's fine. Johan takes the shovel back. I learned that from Nielsen. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, so, how many of the things I do? I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm using a writing pad because they tore it apart this is where the food is right yeah food is right in here yep i just grab it one slim gym there is like eight slim gyms in there i don't want to gorge myself that's i grab the rest <laughs> katie you can add um seven slim gyms each one Fuck is worth that. one ration and it is uh so seven slim gyms it'll be 14 pounds well, you don't. Have to, yeah, you don't have to eat them all at once. These are those monster slim gems. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, for the sake of making it easy, everything is two pounds. Um, there are chips and stuff you can find 
bunions in here. Um, bunions. I love bunions. Yeah, mm, some delicious bunions. Uh, you can find uh, slit slats. Uh, uh, giraffe cakes. Yeah, giraffe cakes. Uh, burritos. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All that good stuff. Um, cool. So, anybody else want to grab anything else? You're welcome to. Otherwise, I'm ready to, I think to we're go done here. Uh, how much of the office supplies were there? Uh, say like three notebooks. Um, if you're wanting mechanical pencils, they're in like packs of two, but you could, you could say like eight mechanical pencil or 10 mechanical pencils, just a pound of mechanical pencils. Um, uh, do you, do you want the erasers to the rubber? If you, if you want the, the erasers, yeah, you can sure. say that, uh, you found five pounds worth of erasers. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus there's Christ. a lot. There, there was like, there was like three, like. Uh, uh, like rows of it, you know what I mean? Like, like not rows, but um, like how, like how many? Like how many is that? Like in total, just like I mean, three pounds numbers. is like thirty of them. <laughs> you know, the smallest weight something can be is is point one. Just for the sake of making things easy, I work in point ones as being my smallest, and more than likely, I try to work in like either ones or point fives if it's larger than the point ones. Um, right. That's for the sake of making waiting system easy and fun. I don't want to get super specific with some of these. Um, but uh, what really matters is the final weight in the lock. So it doesn't matter if it's 30 or 40 of them. In the end, if it's five pounds of rubber, it's five pounds of rubber. You know. Johan is going to look over at Barry. I suggest you also assist with grabbing as much of, as we can from this machine. No telling where we might find supplies again. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I can go do that. Uh, yeah, I feel bad about letting you guys do all the dangerous stuff, so I, I can help out in any way possible. Um, Johan will nod and just begin walking towards the door. I'm just going to follow. Yeah, so I have things broken down in the their, their material components. Um, I'll, I'll just grab a bunch of stuff. Also, Will, I apologize in advance that my inventory is illegible on the character sheet itself, so you'll have to click on it to... Yeah, I, 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 I figured that out. It's fine. Um, he, he's just gonna grab, like, 20 pounds worth of food. So he's just grabbing, he's just, like, filling up his arms, filling up any pocket he can with it. Um, stuff it is overall, since most of these are in, like, airtight bags yeah so uh you guys can easy enough make your way around what <laughs> fucking scared me we went all the way around and then they were already here <laughs> <laughs> we're running but they teleported um oops, sorry um yeah you guys are able to make your way around that was barren again go past the puddle that once was a baron. Um, oh shit, sorry, I like zoned the fuck out, what happened? I uh, kicked the puddle that was baron. Yeah, he just kicked you. Disrespect you're you're dead baron's body. name. Disrespect the baron's name. Oh, <laughs> baron was goaded, bro, don't ever do that again. Okay. I'll do it again. Um, about it, but, you know. As uh, Gallon and oh, uh, Did you just move Xavier my character? Where the fuck did you go? Uh, I'm moving everybody just to like get them all. Well, up I moved him up here, and then now he's gone. Oh, there he is. What were you saying, Link? You, you, you made him. You put him under right where fucking right. Johan's penis was. You kind of made, you know. Anyways, yes. Yeah, so what were you saying? As, uh, as they pass, Johan is gonna uh, gesture towards uh, Gallon and Xavier and point to the door for this room. There are two hmm? lockers in here that were unaware of us, or unaware of this door. Should we take Maya or leave him be? I believe we might find some more useful information at the very um, least. Um, I, I since I, to... I'm a, sorry, uh, Xavier's gonna interrupt before you said that. Um, Xavier is gonna say, I have a, I'm a very sneaky person. I used to be a bounty hunter. 
And if you want, I can open up the door and see if I can squeeze by and see if there's any ways that we can go through. There is another way at that door down the hall. However, there is this door at the end here. Re it requires a key card. Right? Well, it requires a key card. Yeah, it does. It does require a key card. I'm pretty sure last time you guys had found out that. Uh, well, let me pull up the notes exactly again. But it turns out that uh, last time when you guys were exploring on the whiteboard here, you did see a message that had said, um, Help me, Jim. Why'd you go with the key? Uh, Fucking Jim. Yeah. Like Jim. Jim. No, fat Jim. Mm. Oh. I would at the very least like to check and make sure that these do not have the key cards on them. Or did you say they were dead? Behind... Will, did you say these were they dead? Were... Uh, yes, they last time ready. they were dead. No, they were. You guys confirmed. Did you oh, they were? Out? Yep. Me. Didn't, didn't okay. Katie loot them, or did she not just loot them? Did she just she just them? walked around everything and kind of took note of everything. She didn't go around mm -hmm. looting anything. Okay. I was um, just being informed. Then Xavier's going to go over here with Johan, I'm assuming. Um, am I right? Two of us or... can come from this door, then, and the other can come from that end, assuming there are no other creatures there. Catch them in a surprise pincer attack. Okay. Um, Xavier, being as stealthy as he is, is going to come over here and open up this door. Okay, dokes. The other way, you're doing it the other way, whatever, whatever you do it for me. I don't care. <laughs> um, he's, going to, he's going to take a look under the table here. Um, do you want me to roll for that? No, you don't need to roll for it. If you want to get down onto your knees and look under the table, you can see that there seems to be no zombies under no. the table. Um, then I'm gonna come up and loot all three zombies, okay? Simultaneously, Brantley wants to go in and be like... looting some zombies. <laughs> Is this well, supposed to be a clue I... for this pincer attack? Can I sneak in here then and take out these zombies? <laughs> yes. Galen, if you would like to roll me a stealth check, you can. Brantley, if you'd like to roll me an investigation check, you can as well. I, was, I feel uh, like... Was, I was trying to speak to Moxie as well before... Uh, natural 20 plus 13. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I see what you were trying to do, Lane, and I was all for it, and then it just kind of derailed. Did I derail well, him on accident? Say, <laughs> let, let, Lane, let Lane finish it, finish first, yes. You take Sebastian and see if there might be another way around that door, in case we do not find the key card. Okay. From what we saw on that map, that room might be ha having something useful in there that we might use later. I remember finding a door in this room over here. Right. Um, I, I think it was locked, but I'm sure I can, sense. you know find a key somewhere, assuming it's in that same room. If you can, see if there's anything you can do. But it's also, I would like you and Sebastian to take a look at that door. Perhaps you might be able to find a way around the keycard lock. Okay. Sorry, I thought you meant around this door specifically. <laughs> like, there was a hole in the wall or something. No, just take a look at the keycard lock to see if maybe you or Sebastian can come up with a way to bypass it. Gotcha. Yeah, Professor well, Man, need your help. Well, I'll go All right. On. Sorry, there's just a lot going on right now. Um, okay. so, so, Moxie, Sebastian, you guys are going over there. Um, I, I guess he'll come with you guys. What's Penelope doing? Um,. Penelope's uh, gonna look around and see if she um, can see. Do you want to? Will do you want to bring Barry with me? Sure, Barry. Barry can come with uh, Xavier. Um, Penelope, you said you're just gonna be like keeping an eye out for zombies. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, Galen, if you wish to go in this door. Yep. I, I rolled up. Go ahead. Oh, will did I get anything from this loot for rolling it? I, I I gotta just let's do one thing at a time. Oh. Galen. What did you get for your for your sneaking? Thirteen plus four. Thirteen plus four. Cool. So a seventeen. That's great. Um, so uh, I was going to say, if you go in this direction, I can try and come in the other direction if that door is unlocked. Yeah, Perhaps cool. I might be able Flank to distract them. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Draw attention away. All right. So Johan's gonna be right here. I'll take the door left. open and the wait for a signal. Him. Yep. I got gotcha. you. I sent you a message. You sent me a message? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Um, so, uh, Gallon, you have the door opened a little bit, um, as you're able to see inside, you can still see that these two zombies seem to be, um, just kind of eating the corpse while, well, one of them seems to be still eating the corpse like this one here, whereas this one seems to have kind of lost interest over time and is just kind of meandering about, um, but no longer has that distracted state um, anymore to him. Yeah. So before I open the door, I'll let everyone else have their thing. All right. Yeah. Before you have that, um, so with the natural twenty, um, uh, just to reiterate, you do see on the uh, whiteboard here that it does say September twenty third, nineteen eighty three. Uh, you know that the current date is November fourteenth, nineteen eighty three. Um. You rolled a natural 20. That is crazy. Okay. So with the natural 20, um, looting the three corpses, uh, you aren't able to really find anything on them, as to say. But looting amongst the um, table itself, you're actually able to find uh, something labeled Jim's Notebook. Okay. Uh... Am I going to be able to know what's inside Jim's notebook? If you want to open it up, you definitely can. I would can. like to open it up. Cool. So you open up the notebook and you're going to hear, Oh, what did you what did you find over there? As you open up the notebook and uh, inside of it, you see a key card labeled Jim's, uh, or labeled like um, Jim Falcone uh, on top of it. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring it to Johan right here and say, I found Jim's key card. Take it to Moxie and Sebastian. Gallon and I will clear out this room here, and we will meet you at the door. Sounds good, Roger, sir. I'm gonna salute at him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna come over here. Uh, Barry, um, can you want to leave? Actually, Barry with uh, Johan. Do you want to leave Barry with you, or you want me to take him? Take him with you, just in okay. case. Okay. Right. I didn't know if you wanted more backup, but okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say to Moxie and Sebastian, I have found Before Jim's key card. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go. Oh no, I was going to say, uh, before you leave, uh, Johan is going to go to the uh, door. Mm -hmm. Be careful if you open that door, we have no idea what's behind it. Roger, roger. 10-4. Alright, All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Sebastian and Moxie know that I have found the key card. Alright. Oh, sick. So we're just punching shit in for no reason. Okay. Um, was that all that was in his notebook, Will? That was all that was in his notebook, um, other than just like boring like accounting notes. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you? Uh, I don't. Well, okay. Let me go back over here really quick. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Uh, Johan, do you want us to wait for you at the door while you, while you and Gallen attack these zombies, or do you want us to go ahead and open up the door and search that room while you two are doing this? At the very least, open it as quietly as you can. Take a look inside and make sure there is nothing else inside there. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. Um, Xavier's going to give the key card to Moxie and have Moxie open up the door. Yep. So, Moxie, one thing that you'll realize before anything is that um, this key card, this is a, one of those doors that when the you tap the key card the door is going to slide open from what you and Sebastian have just been able to look at it is one of those doors that's just going to open up automatically it's not mm -hmm. going to be a door that you're going to manually be able to move open in any sort of way 
I, I figured. Uh, but the only instructions that were given to her and Sebastian were open the door. Okay. So, so before you guys open the door, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go back to Lane and Galon. Sure. Yep. All right. I'm summoning my ghost friend. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm going to make sure Penelope's as safe as possible right behind me. Yes, sir. Um, Penop is fine. She seems to just be kind of observing it down the end of the hallway. Um, <coughs> Galen, or, or mm -hmm. yeah, I guess. Uh, what do you? What do you guys? Who's gonna attack first? Who's I'm waiting for his on? signal. Yep. Johan is going to. Uh, first, he's gonna have the ghost move to like right here. Okay, yeah, like right between the shelf and him. Okay. Yep. And then he's going to open the door and he's going to prepare to defend while the ghost prepares to attack from the side. Okay. Yeah. He's going to open the door, not stealthily. He's making sure that the zombies actually see the door opening. Yeah, so easy just enough. Slams it open. Not slamming it, but like you know, oh, grabbing it open and just letting it swing open. Yeah, it's making a loud enough noise to where the rest of the zombies are going to hear you. And, um... Can okay. I see the rest of the room as well? Yes, you will be able to see the rest of the room. Well, 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 what is that I see in the hand? Yes. Um... Uh, experiment gum. It's a uh, crumpled up piece of paper. Anyways, um, <laughs> but... Oh, well, if you don't mind me asking, what are these? Like, those are file filing. cabinets. Okay, yeah. what's the difference between the ones that are... These are files you can see that are in there. These are, these are like, empty file cabinets. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. That's all I was asking. Um, so, uh... Gallon, you actually get to go first. And then Lane, and then the zombies will. All right. Um... Did roll sneak, so you probably could sneak up behind one and you know snap its neck. Clonk. Okay, so as these are distracted, Gallon, you're gonna be able to run over and try to punch one of these guys up very quickly. Uh, roll me a uh, melee attack. Floor dice. Oh, oh no. uh, that is a. <laughs> 17 plus 1, I believe, is still. It's just plus 1, yep. So 18 to hit this boy. Yep, you hit him. All right, and this is a... Well, I should say before I roll the hit. That's yep. why I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take a, a regular one. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that's just going to be a normal hit. So 1d4 plus 2. Okay. Three plus two, five damage. Uh, you punch it, but it is not quite dead yet. If you want to get a second attack, you can. But this other one, while you're attacking that, has is starting to make its way towards Lane. Yep. Uh, Johan is preparing to defend, and the mm -hmm. ghost is preparing to attack once the yep, zombie crosses yep. the threshold. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just gonna, I know. I'm just going to try and quickly chain another attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's 10 plus 1, so 11. 10 plus 1, that is enough to do it. Okay. Four oh. again. Um, I'll be right back. I'm feeling a little bit off, so I'm going to go right back. Okay. Okay. That's 2 plus 2, so 4 damage. Yeah, uh, easy enough. You're able to, uh, kill the zombie. Mm-hmm. So the zombie is now dead, and this zombie will kind of get into the uh, threshold, as you were saying, and as it's going to try to reach towards you, uh, you may roll an attack roll for your uh, ghost character. Now they don't have a weapon currently, nope. so they're doing uh, unarmed damage, but yes, go. Straight d20 is a 9. A 9, uh... Plus, it's do you have melee or no? I have a plus zero for melee. That is not enough. Um, if you want, you can try to have Johan, um, <clears throat> you know, 
try to seeing his ghost miss you can have johan try to slam the shovel into this zombie's head instead yep that's slightly better that's an 11 11 does hit Hooray! Woo. um okay roll me some damage should be a 1d6. Forgot to put my XP. That's actually pretty good. I got a 6. Yeah, so uh, the your ghost zombie is going to try to punch this zombie, uh, trying to use a skill that was a little bit too advanced for it because it tried to copy something that Galen saw, or it saw Galen do. Um, but yeah. it, <laughs> it missed, <laughs> not realizing that he doesn't have quite Galen type. Um <laughs> Did it and distract the zombie? It did distract the zombie yes. as you kind of take it like almost like a baseball bat swing as you slam your shovel right into the face of the zombie, uh, causing the zombie to be dead. Okay. All good? Still breathing? We are still alive. Ah. Alright. Well, I'll, I'll call to Penelope that it's safe to come in here now. Um, she said she's going to go lay down. Yeah, so. I, I know yeah. she said she was going to go lay down. Um, but yeah, you, you can you can say that. Um, let's say you look at the note, though. Um, uh, reading, reading the note, what you're going to basically see, it is a note that is written in blood uh, shittily written but you know i guess the guy was dying so maybe give him some mm. slack for that um uh, but basically what you can dis discern from the message is that um he was basically warning people that if they found his body to a hit him in the head and b that if you need the key card it's in his notebook in the office uh, so, uh, in the middle of reading the note I'm going to punch him in the head. Okay. <laughs> uh, you punch him in the head and it watermelons. <laughs> you know, it turns into... That's right. smart. Done that. All right. All right. One's done. <laughs> Next one on the list. <laughs> uh, I don't know about any notebooks. It says something about a notebook. I never saw that movie. <laughs> um, I'll toss the... Because it's already a crumpled up piece of paper, right? Uh, yeah, it was a crumpled up note piece of paper, so you can re crumple yeah, it. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss it at I'm gonna toss it at Johan. Yeah. Give me a roll me a yeet check real quick. Oh, yes, sir. That is. I get plus three to those. Which is good, because that is a 16 plus three, so 19, and I get okay. XP for that. Cool. So with the 19, you throw it towards Johan, and Johan, uh, you know, it almost resembles like a throw that Baron did. Um, so I was his fan. You were his fan. It was you did the same knuckleball that Baron was really good at throwing, uh, and the ball, the papers kind of kind of like swirl around towards. But then, Johan, you're gonna be able to catch it good enough, um, and. You're going to get the same information that Gavin was got, that the key card was in the notebook, and that that guy wanted to get punched in the head, um, or at least have his head destroyed. Which I did. I did. I I, I fulfilled his wish. Did you guys have done both of them? So basically, the note is just saying, if what you see my body, destroy the head. Yeah. Basically, make sure I'm dead. Okay. He is going to just casually toss the note aside. It seems that is done. He's going to look at his uh, ghostly soldier. He's going to nod and salute to dismiss them. And they will Not salute you back. <laughs> right back inside. Um, now, before you guys can move, um, let me ask you guys how you guys are feeling about continuing the session. Um... Because I wanted to do something with shrooms real quick, but uh, she's not currently here. So oh I'm thinking about hitting the bed. Okay. Well, yeah, then this I'm, seems I'm like it's a good spot. 
to to end it off here and next time we'll pick it up with uh shrooms getting some stuff all right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh we got some bandages yay yay yeah. well okay you guys you guys got a lot of stuff so yeah. you have i i'm thinking officially explored the entire south area and are now moving to completely brand new areas. So, um, you know, we're gonna we're progressing the story. <laughs> Very slowly, but yes. Slowly, but true. We are progressing the story. Don't call me Charlie. <laughs> and please, don't call me Charlie. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, no. So, um, I would say you guys are officially halfway through this floor. Uh, and I would say officially at least a quarter of the way through the dungeon. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey. Katie, you have so much extra time to have so much extra ready. Oh, yeah. I know, right? It's going to be great. Are you going to post that picture, Katie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh, I'll do it after the stream. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll end the stream off here. If you are watched us, lovely. Hope you enjoyed uh, you know, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace. Good night. I'm so sleepy. <laughs>